Hello, my name is Anthony, and right now I'm going to walk you through a simple Xcode tutorial to help you learn how to use delegate methods for your Mac OS X applications. So before we begin, I'm just going to let you know that you can um, watch these videos also. If you're watching them at YouTube, you can also watch them at rever.com, and you can find my videos one.rever.com slash account slash show slash Mazna. Um, and you can view the videos at a higher resolution, which is better for something like this because you can read text easier, see objects, things like that. Okay, so so we're going to start off by opening Xcode. Once open, we're going to go to File, New Project, and Cocoa Application. Let's name it Delegate Testing. Just to create the project. Okay. So let's make this a little small. Okay, so we're gonna open the main menu.nib file. Move the window over here. So let's create our app controller class first. And then instantiate the class. So what we're gonna do is we're going a, a delegate um, me, or delegate methods are sent when certain uh, actions or activities ha happen. For example, you, if you, we're going to set this Windows delegate to our App Controller instance and it will send notifications to the App Controller class when things like the window was minimized, the window was deminiaturized, um, it was closed, the app, um, it was move. actually I think there's one for move out I don't have them all memorized, but things like that. So we're going to control, click and drag from the window, the NS window instance, to the App Controller class, just to let you know this right here is this window. So as you can see here, we have delegate, and we're going to connect. So now this window, whoops, this window, NS window, will send its delegate notifications to the App Controller instance. So now let's create the files. Okay, now let's edit. The all we need to edit is the M file. Uh, just to keep things simple, all we're going to do is just log some text just to let us know that it delegate method was it did work and it was being sent. So these are all predefined methods and they're already included in our app controller class. So all we have to do is implement the code that will be executed when the delegate method is executed. So for when windows are uh, miniaturized or minimized, the delegate method is window did miniaturize. And it sends one parameter, which is an NS notification instance. And you can use the NS notification instance to get to grab information like the object that sent it, keys and things like that. So what we're going to do is just simply log some text to let us know it worked. Window did minimize. So now let's run it and see how it worked. Okay, this is our log window. So anything we log will pop up here. And there we go. As you can see, once once it was minimized, minimized, the delegate method was executed because th this Windows delegate methods are being sent to the App Controller instance. So we define, we implemented the code here. So now we're going to do this again, except we're going to do it programmatically and not through Interface Builder. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the window, and actually now we're going to have to set an outlet so we can. To send a message to the window, the NS window instance. So we're gonna go back to the App Controller class. I'm going to actually we have to go through classes. App Control, go to Attributes tab. I'm gonna to go to Outlets, and we're gonna add an outlet so that we can send messages to the NS window instance that we have right here. So we'll just name it Main Window. Change it to the NS window. Object. 
Okay. So now we're going to disconnect the delegate through interface builder. I'm going to do this programmatically. Now what we're going to actually have to do is connect your control, click and drag from the app controller instance to the NS window instance so that we can set it to the main window interface builder or IB outlet. So connect. And now uh, we're not going to recreate the files because we've already created them. So all we're going to do is just we're going to ourselves add the IB outlet. So again, here is where the instance variables specific to an instance of app controller would appear. IB outlet NS window main window. So now we can send messages to that window. So what we'll do is we're going to add there's a method called awake from nib and this method is included in all NS objects and will be called automatically as soon as the nib file is loaded. And we want to wait until the nib file is loaded to do that because this NS window instance doesn't exist until the nib file is loaded. So Main window set delegate self. So what we're doing is we're setting our main windows delegate to self. Self is a keyword which means the object we're currently working in. So self in this in instance means app controller. Okay, so let's give it a shot. And there we have it. it. Works just the same. Our log was set. Okay, that's the end of this uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed.